I'm thinking about um, situations that all mothers might face here, and that is, say, at 17 weeks, I had an ultrasound, and I was told that the um, fetus is failing to thrive and has no chance of survival. With this amendment, is it true that I would have to carry that fetus to term? Is that true? Could you rephrase the question? Sure. So I'm, imagine I'm uh, pregnant, I'm 17 weeks pregnant, and I've learned that the fetus has, is not thriving and has no chance of survival. Um, it's, is it true under this amendment that I would have to carry that pregnancy to term? Yes. Okay, a couple of more questions. So who will pay for the funeral um, after the delivery of a dead or dying infant? I, I presume you are a trustee. Okay, so we're foisting that expense upon the grieving um, would-be mother. Um, so uh, one more question. Um, do you have any guidance as to how I would talk to my family or my young children about what I'm experiencing as I'm going through extreme trauma leading up to um, an, a, a delivery of a dead infant that they're they're seeing me go through this pregnancy. Can you, can you imagine the trauma there? Do you think there's a, a way to handle that that's, that makes sense? Well, I would simply say this. I, I don't think any of us um, are guaranteed tomorrow. All of us must accept uh, death as a consequence of life itself. And... Uh, that I would hope that you would uh, turn to your faith and, and your loved ones to help guide you through that and put faith and trust in uh, our Creator, the Almighty God.